Hello students, I'm Miss Borniola, your teacher in electronics. In this video, we are going to describe the natures of charges in an atom. How will you describe an atom? What is inside an atom? After going through this module, you are expected to Describe the natures of charges in an atom. In your previous lessons, you learned that an atom is a small unit or building block of matter that constitutes an element. But do you know how these tiny particles contribute to the study and development of electronics? Studying the nature of charges in an atom is the key to understanding how electronics outstand as one of the branches of science that lead to the progress of modern technology. Let us all explore how the behavior of these charges contribute to the modernization of the physical world. This module will provide you with the information and exciting activities that will help you understand the properties of different kind of materials through studying the nature and behavior of charges. In your previous lessons in science, you have learned about how indestructible atoms make up a chemical element, the element that when bonded with another or the same element, forms a molecule of chemical compound. And these chemical compounds, when bonded with another compounds, forms a particular substance. A substance that makes up the physical world. And so, everything that matters is matter. This time, you will be introduced to the nature of charges inside an atom. And how it relates to how different kinds of materials exist. Especially those which play a major role role in electronics. An atom has a nucleus located at its center with neutral charge called neutron and carries a positive charge known which when surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged particles called electrons. What are these inside players of the atom? Are you ready to explore the nature of these charges? Let's have an activity. Directions. Do you still remember your discussion on atomic charges? Unlock the given word by filling in the correct letters to complete the term that is being described on the statements. Use a separate sheet to answer the questions. The electrons carry a negative electric charge of negative 1.602 by 109 column and has a mass of 9.109 by 1031 kilogram. Protons are larger in mass than electrons but are slightly smaller than neutrons. The number of neutrons in the nucleus is equal to the number of protons. Yet, different number of neutrons possess varieties called as isotopes. Neutrons hold the nucleus preventing repulsion among positive charged protons. Another interesting fact about the structure of the atom is how its key players, protons and electrons, interact and shape the property of a material. Imagine these dancing electrons forming a circle or a shell around the nucleus with a certain energy inside. 
a force of attraction is being created by the interaction between positive and negatively charged particles like how the north and south pole of a magnet stick together. Attraction is the force that drives opposite charges to stick together. This exciting nature of electrons answers why elements are distinct in nature. Each element has different number of valence electrons that will help us determine the reactivity of an atom. What makes elements reactive to one another? Electrons are like little movers of the atom. They may be lost and be added. And they bond with other electrons of either the same or different atom. The goal of each atom of an element is to become stable like the noble gases found in your periodic table which has the maximum number of valence electrons. So they tend to be non-reactive. However, some atoms do not have the maximum number of electrons in their valence shell. To become stable, they need to bond to fill in the missing gaps of their existence. Let's have another activity. Write the word true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Two points each. Write your answer. An atom like sodium, which has only one valence electron, need to donate or to lose electron to acquire a positively charge. Why? Because when an atom loses its negatively charged electrons, what dominates in the atom are the positive charges, so they tend to acquire a positive charge. Positive charge ions are called cations. When an atom gains electrons, they acquire negative charges, having more electrons than protons in the atom. So, they tend to acquire a negative charge. Negative charge ions are called anions and elements with these charges are nonmetals. These properties of metals and nonmetals can be combined into another type of material called semimetals or metalloids. Your assignment Properties of metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Directions Fill in the missing information on the table about the properties of metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Choose your answer in the box below. Copy the table in your answer sheet. I hope you understand our topic and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.